Okay, Kirito will learn how to fly. And, you know, we will learn how to fly. It made me actually think of Aladdin. But anyway, he is so he is looking for the, that tree to say uh, Asuna. And he realized that all the races in the game trying to look for the tree. And, and then once they, like, conquer the end of it, they gain the ability to fly forever. So everybody in the game trying to achieve this goal. But no one actually, actually made it happen throughout the entire year or the history of the game. And Kirito, being the optimistic thinker he is, said that they should all work together. They might be the hit of crest that had everybody work together, but they all work together. The reward going to be given to someone else, and they're not a, that ain't no fair payoff, and nobody's going to actually achieve that. However, while he making new friends with Leafa, and decided to go on a um, journey to, well, not the journey, but actually to check the tree out. Um, Sugo got Asuna, her character, talking about he he basically, where everybody got logged out, he kept 300 people to do experiment on their brain using them as guinea pigs. And he wanted to sell it off to an American company. And he said if he really wanted to, he could erase her memory. And it just completely make her a doll and do everything in his bed. And he could alter her memory. So he hear a counselor. He just turned into a sick, perverted mastermind that's trying to destroy and conquer people's lives. He's a complete asshole. But this this episode was pretty good. You learned the true motive for Sugo. You realize that he's an evil, a evil, evil, twisted, perverted man who just want the heart of this little girl. And Kirito, he's just Capri as badass as he usually be. And Chris turned up a bit that Leafa actually Suku. Who didn't see that coming? But anyway, I told you guys think about the episode and the where to watch today in the description below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.